This teens almost dropped cops uh -oh. the side of the road after the man who we will Let me... egg harbor police 28th 2022 corporal that, michael we'll do, uh, pritch of the little egg guess, harbor guess, police I, I, department in ocean county new jersey, jersey like stopped his I, vehicle I and approached a young man who was walking on the side of the road after the man who we will refer to as mr walker gave the finger to the corporal F? pritch the interaction was captured on corporal pritch's body worn camera why are you giving me the thing? What? What's your problem? What? Why are you giving me the finger? Yes, she's brushing and streaming to huh? see her Am I free mom. to go? Why are you giving me the Am finger? Am I free to go? No. Come For here. what reason? Why are you giving me the finger? Why well, he's problem? allowed Am to. Am I free to go? No. What's what, do you have mean? a problem? No. You have a problem? No. You don't have a problem, then we're... I can leave. Why are you, are you giving me the finger when you're walking? Huh? Well, no, he's allowed to. It's Come a here. thing. It's a, it's a law thing. Here. What? Get over here. Is that a lawful order? Yeah. For what reason? Because you're giving me the finger. Oh, wait a minute, this guy's smart. No. Damn, so chat, well, chat. I usually li I hate these guys that are like, like, uh, 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 being annoying to cops or whatever, but this guy's not only right, he's actually kind of smart about it. He's kind of annoys me a little bit. What's the law? What's your What's name? What's What's your name? How old are you? Corporal Pritt claims that it is illegal to give him the finger, and therefore he can lawfully detain Mr. Walker for doing so. As we have discussed before on ATA, the Supreme Court held in the 1970s... I'm not smart to somebody off, I'm just saying that, that it, it's... It's fine, and if he says, is that a lawful order to stop, and the guy says yes, and the cop's already wrong. One case of Cohen versus California that, quote, absent a more particularized and compelling reason for its actions, the state may not, we'll consistently with the First and Fourteenth Amendments, make the simple public display here involved of this single four-letter expletive a criminal offense. Likewise, as the Supreme Court explained in the 1989 case of Texas versus Johnson, while, quote, the First Amendment literally forbids the abridgment only of speech, its protection does not end at the spoken or written word. Conduct may be sufficiently imbued with elements of communication to fall within the scope of the First You'll and Fourteenth Amendments. The court also stated that, quote, in deciding whether in particular driving, conduct possesses sufficient <laughs> communicative elements to bring the First Amendment into play, we have asked whether an intent to convey a particularized message was present, and whether the likelihood was great that the message would be understood by those who viewed it. Although the Supreme Court has not ruled specifically as to whether raising a middle finger constitutes protected speech, the gesture nearly inarguably satisfies the test for expressive conduct outlined in Texas versus See? Johnson, and courts that have reviewed the issue have generally concluded that it is protected speech. In the 2006 Boom. case of Corey versus Nason, the U.S. District Court in the Western District of the Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, actually, which is in the same federal in, circuit as New Jersey, concluded that, quote, the weight of federal authority establishes that directing the middle finger at a police officer is protected expression under the First Amendment. Absolutely some particularized showing that the gesture in the specific factual context constitutes fighting words or is otherwise illegal. According to section 2C 33-2, given this precedent, it is highly likely that a court reviewing this situation would determine that Mr. Walker's use of the middle finger was protected speech, and that he could not be arrested under the disorderly conduct statute for directing the gesture at Corporal Pritch. <laughs> I'm not doing anything illegal. Yeah, you are. You just cursed me off. That's Turn not around. a crime. Yes, it is. Says who? Says me. Turn Says around. who? Turn around. Come on. Bro, that is not a crime. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Why are you cursing me? It's not a crime. What's your name? It's not a crime. What's your name? Help! Help! No help. Help! Help! Yo, help! Come Corporal Pritch grabs Jesus. Mr. Walker and holds him with his hands behind his back. When Mr. Walker starts screaming for help, Corporal Pritch turns off his body-worn camera and does not turn it back on until backup arrives. Under Section 40A, 14-118.3 of the New Jersey Statutes, every uniformed law enforcement officer is required to wear a body-worn camera that electronically records audio and video while acting in the performance of their official duties, with limited exceptions. Additionally, Section 40A 14-118.5 states that, quote, the video and audio recording functions of a body-worn camera shall be activated whenever the officer is responding to what a call a for service or at the initiation of it. You know what's strange too is that is that it's the people that pay for this shit, right? Isn't it literally the people with their tax that pay for these cameras and shit like that? For for them to serve the people better and for the police to do VOD reviews of their own officers so they can learn how to serve the public better. 
you're paying for this shit, and it's being used against you. Any other law enforcement or investigative encounter between an country. officer and a member of the public. Excuse and, fucking and, dog quote, shit ass country. The body-worn camera Where shall point remain activated disgusting. until the encounter has fully concluded and the officer leaves the scene. Likewise, the statute only allows for the de- You say body-review, but it's true though. You're literally- it sounds like you're you're paying a coach to be better at better at a game. The guy does everything he can to make sure you're worse. It's like what? activation of a body worn camera during an encounter. Quote: When a civilian conversing with the officer requests that the device be deactivated, where it reasonably appears that the person will not provide information or otherwise cooperate with the officer unless that request has used against you, because there's nothing, any information that you have that you're literally you're literally deleting evidence, pretty much, right? If if you were to go to the court of law, right? Because officers are not always always right. You as a, as a citizen, I'm, I'm, I'm. Did you pull the way, me the way, over him not driving any? The way the way it's being used against you is that this would be the way you would win is that the cop, the guy that knows better, is filming. You're dealing evidence, literally. That's, that, that's, that, that's when a person you. other than an arrestee is seeking emergency medical services for themselves or another person and requests that the device be deactivated, while the officer is participating in a discussion pertaining to criminal investigation strategy and planning, or when specifically authorized to do so by an assistant prosecutor or an assistant or deputy attorney general for good and sufficient cause. These legal requirements are expanded upon in the body-worn camera policy issued by the Office of the Attorney General for the state of New Jersey, and it is clear that Corporal Pritch's actions in turning off the body-worn camera violated both state law and the Attorney General's policy. So what am I doing though? What am I doing that made him detain me? What legal the right? Time I rode by him twice, he shot me the finger. So I turned around and said, well, you're Is that a crime? No problem. That's not a crime. That's not a crime. He's looking at you because he's like, what the fuck you want me to do? Because it's not a crime. I know my rights. Who are you? I don't have to say anything. He doesn't say anything, yeah. You do if you're being detained. For what reason? That's the case. What legal reason so am I being dumb. detained for? Where are you coming from and where are you What going? legal reason am I being detained for? I need to know that. Legally, I need to know that. Patrolman Michael James LaMontagne arrives on the scene Lamont. and informs Mr. Walker that he is required to identify himself because he is being detained, even though he cannot provide a legal justification for the detention. However, New Jersey does not have a stop and identify statute that specifically requires Mr. Walker to identify himself. And courts have determined that New Jersey's New obstruction Jersey. statute cannot be applied to individuals who refuse to identify themselves to police officers when they are not suspected of committing a motor vehicle offense. Under Section 2 c 29-1 of the New Jersey Unlucky. Code, quote, a person commits an offense if he purposely obstructs, impairs, or perverts the administration of law or other governmental function, or prevents or attempts to prevent a public servant from lawfully performing an official function by means of flight, intimidation, force, violence, or physical... In Makes sense. Mr. Walker was required to identify himself. Why are you... Shooting me to think? Why are you... Is that illegal? Why are you yeah. fucking bird? Yes, it is. When you are cursing in public, you are causing a public disturbance. You're being a nuisance to the public. In what way? When he was driving past? Well, I'd like to see you guys prove it in court. It's, it's, it's called, it's called pausing, causing a public disturbance. Okay, I know the law. By being a nuisance. I know okay? the law. I'm not saying you're being charged with anything. At that I'm point, he's detaining you, you to make what's sure going that on? there is nothing wrong. Make sure you're okay. Make sure that you're okay. What reason does he need to detain you? He thought maybe, maybe he thought you were signaling him down. Were you I signaling would. to him? No. I was no. Just, he knew very well that I wasn't signaling to you. Right? I wasn't signaling well, to you. Well, you bring like attention to yourself. That's your not actions, signaling. Your actions strange. I'm making sure you're okay. Dude, that's so funny. Like, you're not here for my safety. You're not trying to protect How me. How do you know? You're walking you on the side of the road, and you're, you're cursing, and you're flipping the bird. Once at him. So, I gave him the finger once. That will him? not hold do up. Do you know him? Do you know him? It's not your business. I it plead the fifth. Business. I plead the fifth then. What's the First alarm. Amendment for? Okay. The, the f public First Amendment is for your freedom of speech. Okay. Okay. What does that have to do with with? Was I making a cold action? Do Am you, I calling for an action to be done against you? No. Do you understand that it is? Listen, 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 listen. That's listen. Not legal. It's 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 behavior that's out of the order. Clearly, if you stopped all the way back there, I'm assuming you guys were back there and you just continued to walk. We were back walk. a bit, a bit further. And you back. just and continued you to walk. Once, I wasn't running. Once, I was walking. Once he so gives an order for you to stop, you're supposed to stop. I did stop when he originally said it, but I was asking, is and it a leave? Is it a walk? Off, off? And he took off. Yeah, because I kept walking because you weren't you weren't pursuing at the first. All you right. only started pursuing because so I said.
you big. That's Listen, when you got a little upset. Look, we're here at this point now. Okay. You've brought the attention to yourself. You yep. caused the public alarm. Well, what I'd like to see doing, you legally hold so now that what in we are court. Doing, because well, I'm not charging you with anything, so well, I don't legally I would, need to hold anything in court. Well, I want to know from your perspective. Dude, I, what I, was I, 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 the kid is not smooth brain, okay? Okay. Okay, out of all people who bait cops, whatever, I think if you're doing the doing the finger, it's not even baiting a cop though. You're baiting you're baiting you you would only be baiting it. Bad cops by doing that. Literally. It's like yeah, you're baiting it, but you're only baiting the bad cops because most of them know not to give a fuck about that. Simple concept. It's so simple. Idiot. How long have you been a cop? Six? Longer than you. Listen. Longer than you, I'm not a cop. I don't understand what, what the point of this is. I'm walking. That's what I'm doing. Okay. It's the Fourth Amendment to be allowed to walk without seizures or anything like that. You Which sure? Is, yes. Are you sure that's the Fourth Amendment? You, you sure? You have money on it? You sure that's what the Fourth Amendment It gives you the right to walk without seizure. What's going to be seizured while you're walking? Y my body. My person, idiot. You were about to. <laughs> he said I was going to be under arrest. He he said, said you were detained. I said, Stop. He no, said you were detained. Be so now what yeah. happens? So, so now what happens? He just admitted that now he was what going to arrest he me. He gives you a lawful order to stop, and you do it not stop. It wasn't a lawful order, though. And you do not stop. It legally was not a lawful and you order. You do not stop. Then that becomes a criminal offense, and then yes, you can be put under but arrest. But it's not a lawful order. Then I take it to court, and then he'd get sued, and I get punitive damages. I'd be rich. That okay? He's not going to be rich, but he, this is where he's kind of wrong, though. Is that even though the cup is wrong about the lawful order, it's still lawful order. If he wants to go battle in court afterwards, then he wins. But but it's true though. If the order is trash, you still have to. Or, uh, you still have to. That's how it is though. That's how it is. That may be what happens. You don't know the law. Patrolman Lamong Tang claims that the Fourth Amendment was. This is sad but true. Yes, I'm right. It makes an order, okay, and and it has no justification for it, right? And you don't go according to it, then then you get clapped. But. Yeah, you said one in court. You just, you just fight in court. Not implicated in this interaction because no just, seizure just occurred in court. and Mr. Walker was not placed under arrest. However, as the Supreme Court explained in the infamous 1968 case of Terry versus Ohio, quote, The Fourth Amendment provides that the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against got, unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated. This inestimable right of personal security <laughs> belongs as much to the citizen on the streets of our cities as to the homeowner closeted in his study to dispose of his secret affairs. For, as this court has always recognized, no right is held more sacred or is more carefully guarded by the common law than the right of every individual to the possession and control of his own person, free from all restraint or interference of others, unless by clear and unquestionable I want to see if he's, he's going to say I'm right or not. ...authority of law. Based on this principle, the court determined that, quote, it is quite plain that the Fourth Amendment governs seizures of the person which do not eventually in a trip to the station house and prosecution for crime. Yo. Arrests, in traditional terminology. Yo, Kai, did you enjoy watching that? He said, W Overwatch, was it nice? Did you enjoy it? It must be recognized that whenever a police officer accosts an individual and restrains his freedom to walk away, he has seized that person. Building on this decision, the Supreme Court held in the 1980 case of United States versus Mendenhall that, quote, a person has been seized within the meaning of the Fourth Amendment only if, in view of all of the circumstances surrounding the incident, a reasonable person would have believed that he was that. not free to leave. Undeniable that Mr. Walker was seized when Corporal Pritch initiated physical contact with True. Mr. Walker to prevent him from leaving. However, like it is also good. highly probable that a court would conclude Mr. Walker was seized for Fourth Amendment purposes when Corporal Pritch first ordered him to stop, and he complied. It may be what you, what's going to happen. It may not be what happens. Okay? Okay, I what understand. All right, so what are we wasting time for? Jury, Am I free to go? What, what Am I free to go? Am I free to go? Jury. No, because at this point, what you, you were detained, okay, because he told you to stop, okay. and you didn't stop. Okay. So therefore, you need to identify yourself as a part of the investigation. So what is your name? Okay, I'm gonna need all of your badge numbers. Let's I will give you everything numbers. written we'll down on a card. Numbers. What is your I name? I can give you. If you have an ID, am I, that's perfect. Am I? Okay, I'll, I'll take it to court because idea, this is still perfect. this is still a detainment. Are you it, a juvenile? This is an illegal detainment, Are you so a I can juvenile? still. I'm not going to answer that. You have to answer. Why? Well, because you're being detained. I said I'll give you my ID, buddy. He's such a pig, bro. So what does that make you? Not a pig. Dude, this is illegal. You'll legally have to prove that I was a nuisance when to you're the public. Standing, How would you do that? How would you do that? I just want to hear Camera systems. Okay, so when he goes by in the okay. car, okay, and he sees you, okay. doing what you're doing, and what was I doing? Be there. 
And what part of that caused a disturbance? That's what I'm trying to legally understand. I don't understand. Is that a body camera? That's what it is. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, Tuckerton doesn't, doesn't have it. You know that? Tuckerton's been on back order for months. How do you know? I, because I have a lawsuit against them. That's why. And I wish they'd have body cams. I would love if they had body cams. Take out the bad cops. It's for all of us. Right. It's for all of us. It's for, us. It's for everybody that's involved <laughs> in the situation. Okay. Appreciate it. If you have any problems or anything, and you want to come down, you want to talk to somebody, our supervisors are always there Jesus. as well. Okay? Well, I'm going to take a lawsuit, so who would I press criminal charges against? For what? You're going to uh, have to, you're going to have to call, you're going to have to call and mm -hmm. figure that out with a lawyer. You would have yeah. to file a complaint with the courts. Got okay? it. Okay? And then you can go from there if you want to see if you can press charges Hassan's and whatnot. Hassan's violating your rights. Appreciate it. Okay? Stay All right, am I free to go? Give us fingers. Shut the up. Stay out of the roadway. Stop causing a public alarm. Dude, shut the up. Am I Stop free to cursing. go? Am I free to go? You're free to go. Stop cursing. You're free to go. After patrolman Lamont Tang informed Mr. Walker that he was free to go, Mr. Walker directed a profanity at both of the officers and walked away without any further incident. Very little information is available about this interaction, and although Mr. Walker informed the officers of his intent to pursue legal action, it is unknown whether he has taken any steps to do so. Also, also, Chad, it's funny you guys say lawful order type shit earlier. What, what happens when he says that? Stop, don't cruise at me or stop cruise at me. Is that a lawful order or not? Like, it's, it's Overall, Corporal Pritch weird, and Patrolman Lamont Tang get an F for acting with total disregard to Mr. Walker's First Amendment and, and Fourth then, Amendment then. rights, detaining him without reasonable suspicion to do so, and blatantly misstating the law multiple times throughout the encounter. The officers repeatedly demonstrated their complete ignorance of some of the most essential legal principles that apply to law enforcement officers by falsely claiming that it was illegal for Mr. Walker to use profanity and display his middle finger, that Mr. Walker was <laughs> legally required to identify himself, and that their illegal detention of Mr. Mr. Walker did not violate the Fourth Amendment, or even implicate it because he was not formally arrested. What is he at? Not legally required to do a so. Minus. He demonstrated a strong understanding of his constitutional rights, stood up Seems to the officers to when they repeatedly misstated the law, and even attempted to educate the officers about the constitutional rights of citizens when they he's repeatedly rich now. No, revealed he's not. their ignorance. While Mr. Walker maintained a hostile demeanor with the officers and used some inflammatory language, he was well <laughs> no, within his First not. Amendment rights to do so, and I would encourage him to follow through on his intentions of filing a lawsuit against these officers for their illegal and unconstitutional actions. This, that is so I cooked. commend Mr. Walker for taking an interest in constitutional rights at such a young age. And this interaction perfectly demonstrates how I useful have lower. this knowledge can be for young yeah, adults across like, the country. Uh, my thing is, <laughs> yeah, you can't blame you getting drunk for these girls taking